Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be doing um, an actual review of these three bulbs. Well, two types of one bulb and another type of another bulb. And LED CAN bus control unit from Osram. Now you've probably seen my last video or last three videos about Osram and you already know that I love them. And I'm going, uh, going forward, I'm going to be replacing more and more bulbs in my car as soon as they are available here in Europe. Obviously, if you are in the US, you have even more bulbs available to you. So that's a great thing. That's not an advantage if you're deciding to go Osram way. And even if you're not using something like LEDs, they actually have noticed that they actually make quite good headlights and taillights as well for your vehicle. So for outside lighting, there's also a solution there. Because unfortunately in Europe, and as you see, that's, that's a European Osram packaging. It says here that they recommend you to use these bulbs for interior, not exterior, because we have some sort of silly re regulation where the LEDs are at the moment are not approved for the outside use. However, I think this is silly because they are much more visible than standard bulbs, better looking and better performing and safer than the LED um, bulbs from eBay, from unknown manufacturers. And uh, yeah, I'm very surprised they're not supported. But anyway, this video is not about that. First, I'm going to jump straight away into the results and I'm going to show you how they look like in the boot of the vehicle. So let's go straight to that. All right, so that's the street lighting and basically it's ambient street light, 3000 Kelvin, and that's why it looks all yellow. And next, I'm going to show you the standard film light. So that's what it looks like. Obviously, once again, yellowish tint, same like a street bulb. I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the temperatures later. And once again, we're going to go back to the ambient street light. And once again, it's orangey looking because that's how you would see with a naked eye. And that's comparison to the daylight. So next, the C5W bulb, the Ostrom C5W. And that's what it looks like. As you see, very nice white tint to it because that's how you're supposed to see it in the daylight. And the other one has a little bit of blue tint, but it's not cheap blue, it's just slight, slight tint there. So that's 6000 Kelvin C5W. And we are back now to the ambient lighting, street lighting only, which is approximately 3000 Kelvin temperature. And next we're going to go for the film bulb that T4W will replace. And that's once again approximately 3000 Kelvin. As you see, video is looping, so you can see that car going in and out. And this is the Ostrom, so huge difference over here. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit uh, later in the video. And we're gonna go back now to the ambient street lighting. And next I'm gonna show you these lights side by side that uh, will show you maybe quicker and simply in a, in a much more simple way. So there you go, no light, standard light, Ostrom LED. This one is 6000 Kelvin and once again, no light, standard light, and 6000 Kelvin Ostrom LED bulb. So, huge difference here. Right, and we're back. So, few things. First, I'm going to talk a little bit about this product here, and then we're going to go and talk about the LED bulb. So, what this product is, if you haven't seen my previous video, is basically it's a CAN bus control unit. Now, what this does is it bypasses the CAN bus error and CAN bus error is if you have a, one of these uh, vehicles that when the bulb goes in the vehicle it produces um, some sort of warning or something like that it basically shows you that there is an error the bulb is gone replace it now why do you need something like that for LED well very simple reason if you're using something like this bulb over here it requires quite a little quite a bit of electricity compared to something like that actually about probably four times as much if not more and when you're using the LED all of a sudden in the in the electric circuit of the vehicle there is a loss of requirement for power so usually vehicle would think that the bulb is gone that's why the power is not used however because of such a huge difference the power is used however is not as big uh, amount as in this and because it's when your vehicle was designed it wasn't uh, taken into consideration about something like LED bulbs because only now they're becoming really main, uh, mainstream and popular with the help of Ostrom so obviously your vehicle is producing a little warning light uh, saying your bulb is now gone 
So what the CAN bus control unit does is it gives you two resistors. I'm not going to talk too much about it in detail, but basically for those of you who are tech savvy, what they do, what they do is when they introduce in the circuit of your vehicle, and it's very, very simple installation and there's manual actually included. So even if you're not too sure, everything is explained in detail how to use it. So what it does is it allows you to introduce these resistors to the circuit of your vehicle. And that way, when you're using the LED bulbs, your vehicle is not um, thinking that there is an error or something like that, because now the circuit, you could call it, is complete. So you have two resistors with wires going out of each end. And then you have these clamps. There's four clamps included. And the way these clamps work is basically you put it like this. You put your wire here and when you close it down, that would cut through the shielding of the wire and the metal here would touch the metal of the wire. Then you put in another wire from the vehicle itself. So the wire is running, let's say, parallel like this. And as you cut it, these two wires are now connected and that will allow the current to go from here. You're going to do the same thing on the other end as per manual. And now in your circuit, you're introducing a resistor and that means your CAN bus control error is now gone. So guys, if you are one of these people who are complaining about the LED bulbs and producing CAN bus errors, this is the thing to use and this is the thing to eliminate the errors with. And by the way, all everything is included. There's two of these included, four clamps and four cable ties. And by the way, what I liked about cable ties is that it shows Ostrom's attention to detail. Even, even things like cable ties, they, they feel solid and, and well made. These are not the cheapest cable ties out there in the market. So if you're going to secure them, they're not going to snap or break or anything like that. And that's exactly what you need when you're installing something like this. And by the way, something uh, more about attention to detail. As you see this, inside there is a resistor but it has this metal shielding and this metal shielding allows you two functions. One, as you see, there's, there are small holes so you can screw it up to the side of some panel or something like that of your vehicle and make sure that it's stationary. You don't have to, but if you want, it's all there. So there you go, one attention to detail. And also because it's resistor, it will heat up somewhat. So this produces the I don't know what you call it, like a shield or the radiator that would radiate heat out and allow it to stay cool and that will last longer. So well done, Ostrom. Next thing, obviously LED bulbs and we're going to talk a little bit about them. So as you've seen in the video, these bulbs are actually very similar in the light output. This one maybe produces slightly more visible on the camera light, but when you're actually using them in the bush, if you had two vehicles side by side, other than the orange color from this, uh, light, from this bulb and very nice and warm light from this bulb, the light output would be probably the same. Now, the reason for that is this bulb is not supposed to replace this one because if you look at them, they are different specification. The Ostrom bulb that I have here, unfortunately, I got the shorter one. I'm um, nearly twice as short in, the, in terms of the light output and the area through which the light would actually be visible. Um, I think this is more for registration plate lighting and the glove compartment and things like that, not for lighting up the whole boot. However, we did the job well for that. Um, so yeah, that's that. A little bit about the color temperatures, by the way, guys. 4000 Kelvin Ostrom bulb looks the best in my opinion because it doesn't give you that artificial light or anything like that. It gives you nice and white light. It doesn't look yellowy at all. It just looks natural to the human eye and something that you'd be used to. Not as orangey looking as these uh, kind of a standard bulbs, but simply nice and warm white light. And I really prefer them over the 6000 Kelvin. However, for something like interior, um, it might look cool. Uh, to have 6000 Kelvin and as you've seen in the video the cast of the kind of bluish light is not that big so it's fine uh, whether you're using 4000 or 6000 I personally prefer 4000 but you know whatever you guys into now bulbs by the way just to show you something here as you see it has a metal thing here as well so obviously that allows your LED to stay cool 
and by the way guys compared to the standard bulb it's much 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 cooler light and uh, that alone just shows that you're using much more electricity you're not wasting it to produce heat or anything like that to waste it as in form of the heat and uh, that will also allow it to last longer now another thing about the led bulbs is the ability to be seen by other road users not only to be pleasant you know when used uh, inside of the vehicle one thing that Ostrom uh, recommends in Europe anyway due to European regulations is not to use these LED bulbs for the outside of the vehicle but to use them for the inside obviously the ones that I'm showing you here at best you can light up the registration plate however in the US there are more bulbs that you can actually use for the tail lights and um, some of the interior bulbs that are available in Europe, like capless bulb, in some vehicles you can use them for parking lights. And I do recommend you to do that. Now, use them at your own risk. This is only my recommendation. And the reason for that is, although European re regulations do not cover LEDs, same like Canvas doesn't, these two guys need to kind of talk a bit uh, to also maybe and update their books because LEDs is the way to go unless there's some really new really fast technology coming out but anyway back to that the LEDs are much more visible they're much more reliable requires um, you know significantly less um, electricity of the electricity supply of your vehicle uh, so obviously you'd be wasting a little bit less fuel um, and the main thing is, as I mentioned, you'd be more visible to the road users. And that's the main thing of most um, items that I, that I have from Ostrom. Not only to light up my interior so I could see obviously what's there, what I need to pick up from the floor of the vehicle or something like that um, when it's nighttime. But also when I'm driving, I want to invest more and more into LED lights for driving because they are very well visible. The ones that Ostrom is producing they have these fro uh, this frosted glass so they don't really blind other users or other road users or anything like that um, obviously you know there's a range of Ostrom bulbs and different um, country I suppose and different continents have different rules so you know your mileage may vary but anyway let me know what you think about this video let me know what you think about Ostrom uh, bulbs let me know if you would consider installing them in your vehicle if you did install install them did you like them or do you still like them i myself i completely forgot that i installed them in the vehicle already because they don't give me any issues they produce the result that i want and they last so you will forget that you have them unlike with some of these bulbs that keep popping from time to time and you need to replace them so so yeah guys thanks for watching Leave me any news or comments or anything, questions like that in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. There'll be more videos to, go, uh, to come from Ostrom. The moment I get my hands on more of, the, of their LED products, I'll, I'll definitely produce some more videos about them. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.